day one of being a girl and I have already cried three times. I wrote a scathing email that I did not send. I ordered dresses online that I couldn't afford. And then uh, when someone asked me how I was, I said, I'm fine. I had seen trans women before. I had known about trans women, but I'd only seen them fully transitioned. I didn't know what the day to day really was. And so I was like, you know what? Dylan, why why don't we take people along to show the day to day and these these experiences that I think a lot of people don't really think about that trans people have to go through. Day 12 of being a girl and I just picked up some tampons and y'all are probably thinking, Dylan, where are you gonna put those? They're not for me. But this last weekend, I was in the restroom and the girl in the stall next to me was like, hey, do you have a tampon? And I froze. I was like, sorry, no. But in that moment, I decided, you know what? I'm always gonna have one on hand for anyone who needs it. When I was four years old, I came to my mom and I said, mom, I'm a girl in a boy's body, help. And she said, God doesn't make mistakes. So I sort of just, because I am such a positive person, you know, just sort of made the best of my life that I could. Anytime that a trans person reaches out and says that like, I'm going through the same thing, I think I didn't know that these videos could potentially help other people, that it selfishly felt like it was for myself. And now knowing that it is helping others, it, it adds this other level of like, oh Dylan, you should just keep going. The best part about being trans is that everyone gets to see that there is no doubt 100% something authentic about you because we have had to go through experiences that have been so vulnerable, so um, scary, and come out on the other side as this new person that is undeniably authentic. By living these lives, we are inspiring others that feel that way to do the same.